Hello adventurers, welcome back to Adventure All The Way. I'm Emma, a homeschooling mum of three in the UK. And I've had loads of comments recently, which has been really, really nice to hear from you all. Um, and I've had quite a few questions um, on Instagram as well, in my DMs, about deregistering and how do I deregister? What do I do? What happens after I deregister? And all of this kind of thing. So I just wanted to pop on and kind of talk about that a little bit. Now, I don't have any direct experience of deregistering, but all of the information is um, wildly available on the internet. You just need to know where to look. Um, first, off, first off, I want to say that if your child is in a special school, um, not in, a, in, a, in anything other than a mainstream school, then the deregistering process is a little bit different. Um, you do have to get permission to deregister from a special school. I'm not sure of the ins and outs of it, but I have popped in the description um, a link to a really, really good website that talks all, <laughs> the dog in the background, hi, um, <laughs> who, which talks all about it um, and the process of that. So the mainstream school deregistration. Now, if your child is due to start school in September, the process is a lot easier. Um, the process is a lot easier. You literally just say, thank you very much, but no thank you, I don't need a place anymore. And that's it. Um, again, there's a link to a template down below that I have written um, that you can use. If your child is in in year in school already, so say is, is going into year two in September, for example, um, then there's again, there's it's exactly the same thing. You literally just ask them to remove them from roll, and that's it. Um, they have to, by law, once you've said remove them from roll, please, they have to remove them from the school roll. And if they don't, they're actually, they could be fined. So if they kick up a fuss about it, that's what you can remind them. Again, in the template, there's a template that I've written, and then there's also another template that I've written for if they reply saying, oh no, you can't do that, or oh, you need to come in and have a meeting, or anything like that, there's a next, there's another letter to reply with that basically says, this is the law, This you need to follow it. Um, sometimes I'm sure that head teachers are not clued up about the law when it comes to homeschooling, because obviously it's not their remit, they're school teachers, not homeschoolers. Um, and other times I think they just don't want the child to leave, which is fair enough. Um, and from their point of view anyway, so, but obviously you are the parent, you get to make the choice for your child. The other thing is once you've deregistered, you don't have to inform your local authority and you don't have to um, agree to anything. You don't have to agree to send them any details, you don't have to agree to let them into your house, you don't have to agree to any meetings with anyone, anywhere, any place, any time. However, some local authorities, oops, some local authorities have made it difficult for people in the past and gone, oh, 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 oh. So my suggestion, again, template, would be that you send them a education philosophy letter, and a plan. Now, you don't have to stick to that plan, they just have to see the plan. Haha! -ha. So, that you send them this plan, you send them an education philosophy, which is, this is what we want to do, this is why we believe it's the right choice, this is why it's good for our child, essentially. Again, I've included ours down below, um, so you can kind of get a feel for it and then write your own. Um, and then I've also included our year plan for each school age child, again, so you can plan. Now, if your education philosophy is unschooling, then write that, and then don't include a plan. Simple. Um, however, if you're following a curriculum, oh, we're using these books, and so on and so forth. Um, that would be my suggestion, would be to provide these things, but if you're immediately deregistering, just write them a letter. If they write to you, well, they ring you, write them a letter and say, we've just deregistered, we're going to be de-schooling for this many months, we'll contact you if we need you. And if they reply again, reply with an ed education philosophy and your plan, and then just say again, we'll contact you if we need you. Um, the main reason they do this and the only reason they're doing this is to protect children from abuse. 
that's what their responsibility is. And in most cases, in nearly all cases, real, actual home educated children are not being abused. So. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was what happens after you do register and or what happens if you refuse the school place that you have had picked out that you've that you've picked out um so usually what most homeschoolers do or most home educators do is we do a process called de-schooling so de-schooling um the recommended amount of time is one month for every year your child has been in school so if your child is going to be going into year three in September and you have decided not to send them back, then they would need three months of doing nothing. Now, <laughs> this would be in a usual situation when we haven't had six months off school for COVID. <laughs> so maybe you've been de-schooling all along. Maybe you've gone, no thanks, we're not doing your schoolwork, blah. And maybe they've had six months. <laughs> so de-school, literally, I'm telling you to do nothing. No, no planning. Don't do any planning, put the planning book down. Don't get a workbook, don't go to the works and spend 30 quid on workbooks. No, 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 put it down. Put, put your card away, don't do it. Do nothing, do nothing. Mummy, I want to play on my Xbox from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. or 9 a.m. till 9 p.m. Yeah, that's fine, go for it. Mummy, I want to go for an hour long nature walk every day. Trust me, it does happen. Yes, let's go, let's do it. Obviously, within reason, I'm not saying if your kids had a 7 p.m. bedtime for the last five years, that you should now make them let them go to bed whenever they like, or vice versa. Like you know, let's 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 be real about this. Um, what I'm saying is, don't try and recreate school at home. Just no, just chill, just chill. Not only does your child need time to do school, but you do as well. And this is something that even I found. Now, bearing in mind, my children have never been to school. They've been to preschool, but they didn't go to school um and i found i had to de-school myself because before i jumped in to homeschooling charles who is now eight nearly nine uh, um i realized that i had this idea in my head of how school of how a home edu education should be and then i was like what do I know? And now that at that point, when I was first doing this, Charles was like three, and we'd already kind of gone, hmm, don't really want to send him to school. So, oh look, it's Phil. Um, <laughs> so, my biggest thing is, like, just don't do anything for that amount of time. Now I am saying, if your child is in year 10, to not do anything for 10 months. That's exactly what I'm saying. Just chill out. And the other thing that we found was when I had, as I was saying about de-schooling myself, I had to spend 13 months reframing my head so I wasn't going, okay, so I need curriculums and I need to spend 300 pounds from this website to, I had to sneeze, it's all good. So, <laughs> I, as I said, so I had to like reframe my head because I was like, oh, I need to do this, and I need to do that. And then I went through an unschooling phase now loads i know loads of people who are unschoolers and the more we are tr the more we tried to do unschooling the less comfortable i felt about it and i realized that's when i realized that i was an eclectic homeschooler um and i did talk about this briefly and i've talked about unschooling and curriculum learning in my different styles of home ed Bloop. And I will do another video on it if anyone is interested, specifically about how we came to be eclectic homeschoolers and so on. Um, but with that, I'm going to go, because it's getting late at night and I'm tired. Um, enjoy the links down below, let me know what you think, and if the templates are useful, if you are interested in that kind of content um, more often, then that's cool. Um, Remember to check out the kids' channel. Content goes up pretty much every Friday, although I've been a bit late this week. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because I know there's some lurkers who haven't done it. <laughs> I will see you later. See you on Monday. Bye.